by the parametric and symmetric equations of the tangent line to the parametrized curve, RT equals cosine T sine T T at T equals pi halves. Once you have the line, find the point in the XY plane where it intersects. Now, if I want the equation of a line, we're gonna need two objects. We're gonna need a point and the direction that the line points in. So in this case, we're looking at a tangent line to a curve. So we need a point on the curve and we'll also need the derivative at that point. So here, our point's gonna be, okay, R of pi halves. That's gonna give me zero, one pi halves. Then for our direction, we're gonna take the derivative of R that's going to give me minus sine, cosine, and one. I put our pi halves in. That gives me the direction minus one, zero, one. So to get our parametric equations, we're going to use L of t, so L for line, equals our point plus t times our direction. So that's going to give me minus t, one, pi halves, plus t, for our line in parametric form. Now, if I want to go to symmetric equations, what are we going to do? We're going to take the x, y, and z, we solve for t, and then we set whatever t is equal to to each other. So in this case, what happens? I have x is equal to minus t, so t is equal to minus x, y is equal to one, okay? There's no t there, so I just leave it alone, y equals one, and then we have z is equal to pi halves plus t. So we're gonna have t equals z minus pi halves. All right, let's pull that apart. So y equals one, we just set aside. And then I'm gonna have t equals minus x, t equals z minus pi halves. So we'll set those equal to each other. So here we have the symmetric equations for our line. So there's no t present. Now to find the point where we intersect the xy plane, there are two ways we can go. So the first way, we take our symmetric equations. Now the xy plane is gonna be where z is equal to zero. So what I'll do is, we'll set z equal to zero. That's gonna give me x equals pi halves. Okay, we're given that y is always one. So our point's gonna be pi halves one, zero. Now, we can check that. We can see what happens if we go to parametric form. So here, we're gonna let the z value be equal to zero. That's gonna give me, so if this is zero, we're gonna have t equals minus a half. And then I could put that minus a half in for the equation for x. So that'll give me pi halves. So that's gonna recreate our point pi halves. Okay, y is always one, and then we know z is zero. So that checks our work. Now what's going on with the y equals one? What's happening here is y is always one no matter what you put in for t. So that's gonna mean our line is gonna be stuck in the plane defined by y equals one. So that plane is gonna be parallel to the xz plane. 